commercial circ. This is a mystery circulator to me. There's no tag on it. So I had to measure all the dimensions, the distance in between the flanges, the flange size, pipe size, impeller cut, all this stuff to make sure we can get a match for this. I had to check motor voltage. So that's all something that we figured out and we have the new one on order. So we're gonna pull this out and get it prepped for the new one, sand the flanges and all that good stuff. So I have the motor removed because the motor is actually just as heavy as the volute is. So I'm kind of up on a ladder. I'd rather this be as light as possible. So we've got the flow check side of the pump unbolted and we're gonna unbolt the opposing side, the suction side of the circulator. I'm sorry, the discharge side of the circulator um, unbolted here soon as well. I'm having Ian go out and get me the M18 half inch impact and the impact socket so we can unbolt this sucker. I was gonna say curls for the girls, but you're not curling, so. You bitch. Flanges are good and clean. So is the mechanical room. I'm not gonna sweep the whole mechanical room and neither is Ian because we didn't make a mess, but we made it cleaner now than it was when we got here. And that's what we're all about. Flanges are prepped for the new pump. The new gaskets will probably be red rubber and we're gonna goop up the face of the pump and the flange so that the gaskets come off easier next time it needs maintenance. There's our floor, nice and swept. No, it was pretty hard to get this circulator. So. Yeah, we'll this circulator is coming directly from Rhode Island, where Taco is located. And because there's no information or serial number or anything stamped like there usually is, we need to take all kinds of measurements, like I said earlier. And our um, supply house locally is, he's a real crack, crack shot at all this stuff. He's really, really good at what he does. And he was able to locate and find us one and save us from having to wait six months for a direct replacement. So this is a direct replacement, but he was able to find us one that can get delivered sooner. So we'll do another video when the new circ is installed. See you Let's get around here. All right, I'm gonna hit this first. Let's try putting it in reverse. Oh, all right, new pump, finally here. We're gonna detach the motor from it so that the pump as a whole weighs a little bit less. So we're just lifting the volute. We're gonna put it onto this stand once we bolt it and set it on here. The rest should be fairly simple. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. It's not that bad. I mean, if we didn't have this rod set up. 
one pair of grease is good. Okay. So. so. Pump is in. We're going to put some Teflon paste on the nuts and bolts so that they come in off easier next time. And then we're going to take all these bolts out of the impeller assembly and we're going to rotate the motor so that the uh, junction box for the wires is 180 degrees the other direction. Um, we're going to make sure everything is centered, plumb, well, it's all good. We can adjust this up and down to get our height correct. Then we're going to smug it all up and turn the isolation valves on so we can get the water in here and test our connections. Then we wire it and we're done, kid. That's it. Nice comfy seat on top of this P&K boiler. Yeah, like a gel. Decided not to move the electrical junction box because it's easy enough to get here to the wire. This pump will have to be changed and I'm going to be the one to do it and this is perfectly okay. These uh, pumps are 208 volts, so they give you a high and a low voltage wiring diagram, usually 208 and 408. We're going to wire it for 208, which is shown on the diagram here. You wire nut certain wires together and then other ones with your line voltage leads. And if the rotation is wrong, you can reverse any two of the line voltage leads and they will rotate the motor in the opposite direction. Okay, so here we can see our chart, which tells you which wires to join together to use 208 or 408 volts. So we have our ground wire that's in there that's connected. And then we have our line voltage, line one, line two, and line three. If we had a backwards rotation of the motor, we could take any of these, L1, L2, or L3, and switch them to a different group of two wires. So this to here, or we could do this to here, or this to here, and another one and switch those as well, and that would reverse the motor rotation. Okay, new circ is in. Motor is wired, it's running. We leak tested it, flanges are all sealed up good and tight. We put Teflon paste on the nuts and bolts so that the next time the circ has to be changed, they come off easily. Sometimes they do, but sometimes they don't. This was a very expensive circulator. It costs what a nice used car would probably cost, which blew my mind when we got it in. But that's what's needed. Three inch welded iron pipe into a Takeo circ with two, I think, 500,000 BTU Patterson-Kelly boilers.